Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. Let's get into your reading for the rest of June. See what the messages are. I'm going to do a Celtic cross for this reading. And most likely there will be an extended version or an extension to this reading if you would like to purchase that. Uh, the link, if there is one, there will be a link in the description box below. And uh, yeah, so let's get into this. Going to take a look and see what energies for you and your person, any changes, anything showing up here for June 2024, Virgo's Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay, wow, well, a whole bunch of stuff going on here. All right, the past position, you have the nine of wands current position is the eight of swords okay crossing you have the four of wands driving is the nine of cups top of your mind there virgo king of swords the near future the hierophant position of you is the star position of them is the six of pentacles hopes and fears you have this eight of pentacles in the outcome you have the emperor let me clarify these major arcanas here let's see okay oh geez oh my goodness all right so bottom of the deck virgo the tower wow Something major and shocking is going to be occurring between you and your person. Somebody's ego, getting their ego, their head blown off, like, no, figuratively, not really. Um, yeah, there's a struggle here. Phew. There's some kind of struggle. Somebody is determined to make some kind of change, but... They got to they got to get rid of some ego issue here. There's something going on here with this tower energy or somebody is like gets humbled big time. Somebody gets like a shock and uh, gets humbled. Maybe this person, your person or you and all of a sudden coming at you. Right, Virgo? Cupid's arrows. Looks like Virgo, I'm just going to tell you straight up. It looks like the overall message for this reading is you are putting someone in their place. <coughs> Excuse me. My goodness. Putting someone in their place, it looks like. Um, you're blowing the lid off of something here. Determined to do it. But um, yeah, whoever this person is could be a king of swords. You do have a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Whatever's going on here. Um, it, it feels like... You're st maybe you're standing up for yourself here. This person is good. You're putting somebody in their place and blowing the lid off the, like that big little crown, right? Doink. Blowing the, like their, their ego is really going to make them like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll do whatever you want. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know that sounds terrible, but that's what I feel like's going on here. The overall message. So the past position, Virgo... You do have the nine of wands. So there is this, hmm, should I or shouldn't I? There is this like still kind of stuck in the past, looking back in the past, feeling kind of like broke, busted, and disgusted. A little bit of like wounded warrior stuff, you know, um, guarding the shack here. You don't want anybody maybe waiting for the bus or just been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. Bus never, bus just not showing up. Like, where's this damn bus? What's going on? Is it coming? Come on, I got to get to the hospital. Like, I just feel like there's just this past energy of like, I mean, you just look at this person's face. Like what in the, the actual F? What? Is, come on. Waiting and waiting and waiting and perhaps just feeling like nothing ever panned out. You know, but looking even further back at your past and like, what did I just go through? Or what did I just come through? What the hell was that? right like were you on the outskirts of like a tornado or something you just got a couple of twigs hit you and but you know everybody else got like 
destroyed like again remember i tend to speak in analogies <laughs> um but it, it's just the energy like what the heck just what happened back there right so here you are virgo currently with the eight of swords you're you're feeling mentally trapped maybe you're looking back in a past relationship like what the hell was i in and maybe just yesterday you're like what what did i do what did i let happen what was i doing and here you're kind of in this like poor me kind of energy here like uh feeling sorry for yourself maybe a little bit um that's all right you're allowed every once in a while don't stay down there too long but there is like this you know feeling trapped maybe suffering from some kind of like mental thing or being affected mentally by something physically that happened in the past or just anything that you just couldn't make heads heads or tails of so you're kind of here right now right virgo and june presently and you can get out of this but i kind of feel like maybe you're licking your wounds a little bit here the challenge is to be happy the challenge is to i mean it's a benefit there's something here about family homecoming there's something here about connecting um, or maybe being in a committed relationship or maybe getting married or just where's your 1111? Where's your person? This kind of like this is how it feels like where's your person? That's it's what you want. You just want celebration and joy and, you know, an equal partnership where you're par paralleling each other. You know, you're and this is foundation. This is strength, you know. So something you went through in the past, it looks like you, seriously, it's affected you. Like you're, you might be on the verge of like a breakdown. Some of you might be, or just holding yourself at bay at this point. But you know, the longer you stay down and let it affect you, it will go into deeper anxiety where the nine of swords would be. Okay. So what's driving this reading, Virgo, I feel like you just trying to have your wishes come true seriously you're just trying to have contentment happiness joy emotional fulfillment you're trying to have all that and for some of you this has something to do with air energy whether it's their sun moon rising or venus this person is cold stone cold they're very surgical is what i'm hearing they're giving me the word surgical just cold clinical sterile <laughs> just very like there's no emotion you know i mean all this red does represent passion but it's like how can i say this it's like it's like having all this outer layer of passion but what's inside is just this coldness you know like even that piece of metal like i just this just gives me like a, a vibe of like being in like a surgical room where it's super super sterile and it's quiet and you know the king of swords tends to be a good communicator but their communication is not emotional okay so maybe you're dealing with this person and it just feels so cold and it's affecting you okay so what's coming towards you here because look at this i've got stuff everywhere <laughs> i'm definitely not a virgo am i um so what's coming towards you is the hierophant so wow the hierophant clarified by the justice card clarified by the magician clarified by the page of wands so hmm, you're definitely going to receive some type of communication from somebody it could be a taurus it could be a Libra, it could be a Gemini, okay? But those are just en energies, so it could be this person. Um, super excited to talk to you. Now, I feel like when I was looking at the, in the very beginning when I was talking about putting somebody in their place, it looks like maybe you you do that first that's what the overall energy is putting somebody in their place like calling somebody out on something you know and then just kind of like 
after you do it, it's like, oh my gosh, maybe you already did it. But like after it's the basis of the whole reading is somebody's fighting or something happens. But like I was saying, and then this person's kind of like, oh, okay. Look, I mean, listen, Virgo, I see good energy coming towards you. Like in response to you calling somebody out or you just breaking, you causing some chaos and, or mayhem, confrontation of some sort. I feel like somebody reaches out to you, whoever the, this person is, your person, and um, really super excited to talk to you. <laughs> There's something here they're telling me. Um, this person, I'm feeling this energy of like your, your person loves it when you either sass them or when you just stand up for yourself like i just heard i just heard two people they gave me these two phrases two people kind of talking and i'm hearing one person saying to the other well i i don't think you, i deserve you you should go, you should go and find somebody better and and you returning that and saying you don't get to decide who i who i choose or who I think is good for me. That's not your decision. Like that kind of energy back where you kind of stand up for yourself. Now maybe that was a conversation you had with somebody. But I feel like there's some message here about you doing that. Like you kind of standing up for yourself in some way or another. Or even like <clears throat> telling this person, look, you want a commitment. You want to get married. You want to go, you know, like you want to go to the church. You want to stand in front. Let's go to Rome. I want to be in front of the Pope. I want him to marry me. Whatever. I'm just saying. This is a hierarchy. This is not anarchy. Well, there isn't like a leader, a spiritual leader. This is a hierarchy. Okay. You're not rebelling. And you want truth. You want justice. You want fairness. You want magic. And you want passion. And I feel like this person kind of comes through with that, okay? So look, here's a position of you and your advice. So this person, I feel like you get some kind of communication or message from this person. Um, now the page of wands, now so this is June, so perhaps towards the end of June. And it's going to be, they're just saying June 21st, 20th or 21st, okay? So position of you, look at you. You got healing, hope, a renewed sense of hope and faith. You've got the wish card, the sun, the light, the positive energy. And you also have I'm just going to say it, it. All of this here kind of comes to you because you're kind of deny like you're 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 like no nah, i don't want this anymore <laughs> like um i i want to say your advice is mostly your advice here if you're going to call somebody out you got to like be willing to lose that relationship because if you're not willing to lose the, a relationship where someone's being cold with you and not treating you well you're going to stay and they're going to keep doing it you must be willing to say no i don't want this anymore I don't want this coldness. This is not working for me. Look, Virgo's like, I'm the star of the show, baby. I'm the star. You need to see me as a star. <laughs> I got that healing energy. Look, I'm at the pool. I'm in my bikini. Look how good I look, right? Or my, my shorts, whatever. I'm out in the sun. I'm at the beach. I'm enjoying my summer. I got better things to do than to be dealing with you. And I kind of feel like that's your advice and that's something to do with you maybe calling this person out and just like breaking them down like you know who do you think you are <laughs> who the hell do you think you are do you think you're so freaking great or maybe you don't think you're good enough and you so say you're pretending to be <laughs> i don't know virgo i just kind of feel like your advice here is to keep your options open with this person because that actually is going to give this person a sense of they got to work for your trust they got to work for this love you know so i don't know virgo i feel like you you did you did something or you're gonna do something 
where there is some kind of communication here. And I feel like this person's just going to kind of maybe simp out a little or just be like, Ooh, okay, like maybe there's just this side of you they don't see. And then they're just like falling in love with you, like with these Cupid's arrows here coming after you. Right? Look, even the Six of Swords. I'm on my way. I'm going to make that change. I'm going to make that transition. I, I want to be with you. I want this peace. I want, I want us to heal. I want us to recover this relationship. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't even realize you had to tell me, Virgo. Right? So it looks like maybe you speak your mind or you say something. Okay. So this person here has the Six of, the six of Pentacles here. Okay. So they're going to give. They're going to return this that's this thing that you want or that you need this reciprocity because this person's like stone cold steve austin here so i see them yep bringing it you know reeling it back in maybe they were breadcrumbing could be a king of wands fire energy or spending too much time with a friend and not prioritizing a relationship or another person spending too much time with another person maybe breadcrumbing between you and somebody else very well could be whether it's romantic platonic whomever um yeah it looks like you're like no nah, no thanks don't want that i'm willing to make you a priority in my life and if you can't uh if you if, if that's not something you are willing to do for me then I, i'm not gonna pff, down off that pedestal <laughs> down you know yeah okay so I feel like this, your, whoever your person is, is going to wake up to this situation here. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. That is what I'm seeing. The hanged man. Okay, Piscean energy there. We have Leo. We have Aquarius. Piscean energy here. Um, Sagittarius, Aries. Virgo, just keep moving. Just keep doing. This is your... Your hopes and your fears, like, look, there's this energy here where I kind of feel like you're like, I keep being consistent, but I fear that I'm giving too much. I hope I can, like, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like you, you're being consistent, but you fear you're doing, you're holding the fort, you're paying all the bills, you're... You're the one buying the cat and the dog food. You're the one doing everything. You're the steady. And you and you should be steady. You shouldn't change that. But I feel like if you are the one who is bringing home the bread and butter <laughs> um, and this person is just being cold and shallow and you're kind of maybe you've been doing everything you can to just kind of rise up that passion in them or to come out of this very sterile environment in their head um and they're not responding then yeah i mean don't fear backing off you know a little bit because you kind of have to make room for this person to show up and to see if they're gonna you know but also you got to say something i feel like that's what that tower energy is now the outcome is the emperor and the three of pentacles so there is something here about this person taking responsibility okay now if you have kids with this person one or two or however many i feel like they're gonna step up and take care of their responsibilities um go from a king to an emperor okay which is a good thing um, but I feel like this is more with the Three of Pentacles, something that they're going to figure out on their own how to be. Everybody should, you should always strive for either an empress or an emperor. Never strive for a king or a queen. Never strive for, you know, um, because you, you got to, if you want to attract the emperor or the empress, you also have to be the emperor or the empress. You can't expect to be a king or a queen and expect to have an emperor or an empress, right? Because they don't go together, right? It doesn't work. So I feel like, and even though the empress is not here, she's here in spirit in the emperor, 
So your person is going to figure out, they're going to learn. Because maybe that has something to do with you calling them out on something here. And they're like open, they open themselves up to figure out how to learn how to be that for you. And maybe with some of your help, maybe they're just clueless. You listen, Virgo, your person could be, look, there, there's no emotion. The king of fire and the king of air, there's no emotion with them. The king of fire is very physical, maybe even athletic. Go, 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 go. That's at the top. That's the top priority for the king of fire. The top priority for the king of swords is it's all mental. Think, 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 thought, 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 strategic, strategy, uh, words. They can be <laughs> there's a lack of emotion. There's passion, yeah, but there's a lack of emotion. And I feel like you need that. Okay, and we have Aries energy here. So I feel like you need that. So you know, what I'll do with this is, I'm, for those of you who want to click off and go to the extended, the links below, and the, just below the video, I'll go into the extended to see what they're going to learn, how they're going to learn, how they're going to change and come forward to you, right? But if you don't want to purchase that, or if you just want to wait, I'm still going to continue the reading, okay? So we're going to add a little bit more and see what else shows up here. Now, I do want to get some of the island time wellness messages just to see what else shows up here for you okay soulmates soul connection partnership agreement yeah so something's definitely going to shift here with this person um so yeah there's the x because you're stopping some kind of pattern so it looks like you know, Virgo, and I don't care who it is, we're not, like, even I say this, I'm a tarot card reader, I'm not a mind reader, and I think there's times where you can come into a relationship and have an expectation that this person's going to fill for you, but if they don't know, if there's a lack of communication, or they're not sure, or they're not listening, like, if, if you haven't said to this person this is what i like this is how i like things this is you know what i enjoy in relationships and and show and be an example if you haven't done that you got to do that if you have done that and they're just not budging because <laughs> there's a stubbornness or they're just set in their ways then you got to ax it right like or if they're not even willing like i always say there's only three things that you really need to make a relationship work uh, motivation, willingness, and capability. So if you got all three of those, that's great. But if you're missing one or two or all, then you have a problem, okay? Because somebody could be willing but not motivated to be with you. Somebody could be motivated to be with you and not capable. So you got to figure that out, right? So there is a soulmate connection here. And usually soul connections are pretty easy. But I feel like... It's going to be the X. It's stopping the pattern first for the soulmate uh, connection can be recognized, you know, for the, the agreement to happen, if that makes sense to you. Hopefully it does. Okay. Let's take a look. Messages of love. Messages of love. Oh, there you go. Someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation and an awakening. So is it you? Is it this person? Both of you? Yes. Huh, strictly sexual. Well, maybe this connection was just strictly sexual. And there's an awakening. Like, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Someone, maybe you awaken to that it's just strictly sexual. And you're like, nah, no thanks. I'm moving on. Or this person awakens to this strictly sexual relationship and decides, wait, I got to make a change. Okay. It could be both. It could be both. It is both. All right. 
There's a going slow. Take time to get to know each other. Hmm. So don't rush anything here. In other words, if you got to say something to somebody about this relationship and the, there's a difficulty or something's not working out, or that you're going to leave it or just, you know, you're just not interested anymore, you know, this person trying to come back or try to make changes, you got to take it slow, be patient. If they're going to be making changes, which I see here, there may be some financial challenges that are at the top of the list of why this relationship is struggling. Oh, somebody might be shutting down because they're broke or they don't have any money or they're feeling, you know, like they can't offer anything or give anything. And somebody might also be like, Ugh, what am I going to do? All right, past life love. Yeah, for some of you, well, it's obvious. Past life connection, past life situation. Yeah, their second chance again. You know, and just because it says it deserves a second chance, this relationship, maybe it does, but it's up to you. Doesn't mean that you have to give it another chance. It's only if you want to. If you want to, it deserves to happen. But if you don't, move on. That's what I always say, Virgo. Sometimes you just need to pack your bags and get out of Dodge. If you've done everything you can, you've tried, and somebody's not budging, move on. Find somebody else. There, there's always there's plenty of fish in the sea, Virgo. All right, let's take a look and see what this person's Chinese sign, yours and theirs. All right, let's start here. Okay, you're the rooster. You're of the dragon. Year of the Ox, Year of the Rat, Year of the Pig, Year of the Tiger, Year of the Snake, and Year of the Dog. Okay, so that could be you, it could be your person, it could be both of you, it could be none of you. Don't worry about it. Don't try to force it to fit. Um, hmm. All right, I'm going to get a, a few cosmic insight messages to see what else there is you need to know, Virgo, for the month of June. What else does Virgo need to know for the month of June? <clears throat> oh, something. A pet is going to be significant this month. Either you're getting a new pet or you're giving a current pet more love. Pet will be significant. Kitty cat, dog bearded dragon, <laughs> snake, I don't know what kind of pet you have, hamsters, gerbils, birds, horses, are horses pets? I don't know. All right, something's going to get serious. Relationship is going to get serious, Virgo. Definitely, if you want it to, somebody is going to make a change. That is what I'm picking up here. Commitment. You're getting a good, you will be getting a commitment, but it, it looks like it's based, it's not just going to happen out of the blue. you got to do something. And if you didn't hear what it looks like either you're going to do or you will be doing, rewind and go back to the beginning. Cycles, fate, karma, something ending, something beginning. There you go. That's your message. That's what I was saying. And distance. You could. This could be a long distance relationship. You and your partner maybe physically or emotionally distant and we know there's an emotional distance because the king of swords was there and the king of wands yes so either you there's a like i said there's an emotional distance or there is a physical distance and that could be contributing as well to the difficulty in this relationship could also be because of the finances Something needs to get set straight here. And it looks like with that tower, something is going to break apart so that there can be new growth. And it looks like there has to be. Something has to break so there can be new growth. That's what I'm feeling. Overall, that's what I'm feeling. Okay. So... Remember, there will be an extended with the Emperor and the Three of Pentacles so we could see how this person is going to learn 
or figure out how to come in as the emperor. All right, so we have Cancer, Aries, Gemini, and Aries again. Okay, air is always showing up, isn't it? Air is always in these readings, air signs. Okay, we have 87, 84, September 4th, we have 25, we have 47, 78, 16, 37, 68, and then it flipped to 70. We have 60, we have the 21st, we have 44, 52, 61, 31, August, month of August. We have the 9th, okay. Hey, yeah. Do, 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 do. Okay. Yeah. 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 Someone's in Canada. Yeah. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Is that what they say? Yeah. I don't know. I just heard Canada. Um, or someone's, when they write a text, they don't say yes. They say, yeah. <laughs> I just heard Andy. Or someone lives near the Andes Mountains. Andy. Or Brandy, too. Okay. Uh, somebody's voting for Biden. <laughs> you know, it's so funny. And look, I'm not, I just see it here. B-I-D-E-N, Biden. Um, years ago, on my other channel, when Trump got elected, I was making a reference to Trump as a king of swords because he's very strategic and kind of a con man. And um, I'm not saying Trump was. I'm just saying that's what the 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 king of swords was at the time and very sarcastic and mouthy but the king of swords in my reading showed up in reverse so that's and i made a comment i was like oh kind of reminds me of that anyway i totally got lambasted so bad on my channel that i mean i had to shut the comments off it was so bad so when i'm seeing biden i and i have to go back in and say hey y'all I'm a tarot reader. I'm not a political activist. I don't make any political statements. It's nobody's business. I don't share that stuff. I'm seeing what I'm seeing, and that is what I'm seeing. Okay? So, if you want to post or share that stuff that's on my channel, I don't care. But I won't deal with any hate towards me or anybody else. You're free to, you have free speech, well, from the government, but um, you don't have freedom speech on my channel with hate speech. No you'll get blocked. Anyway, um, Buenos Aires, I just heard. Someone is dying some clothing. Oh, and somebody's eating mints. I just heard some candies. Someone's eating mints. We do have a May birthday here. Very significant. Um, I'm hearing Nadia also. I'm hearing David. Um, Dean. Now they're giving me Dean. Um, uh, John or Jonah. Um, Tony. Giving me Tony. I'm getting Jan. I have Ned. I have Sean. Mm, I have Neil. Nadja. Danny, somebody's having dinner, or having din dinty more, <laughs> dinty more, um, SJ, y'all yeah, holla, SJ, South Jersey, Nevada, North Dakota, um, I'm hearing Donnie, or Don, or Donna, I know I'm calling all guys names, or Oh, dinette, dinette set. They're saying dinette set. E Edie, Eddie, Edie. Um, somebody's tying a tie. 
Okay. Um, somebody said, oh, okay. Oh, Sandy. I'm hearing Sandy. Somebody made a comment that they saw some names in my letters here. So if you see it, if you if something sticks out to you, you can definitely leave a comment below if you see a name or something sticks out to you as I'm doing this reading. Um, all right, they just told me to tell you that you need to rewind. <laughs> you need to rewind something? Dennis. Hey, Dennis, what's up? Uh, Dino. I'm hearing Dino. Oh my gosh, all these names are coming out. This never happens. Somebody's birthday is on the 10th. And somebody's on the spectrum. And somebody's birthday's on the 9th. And I did ha have the 9th here. I also have May 9th. That's a Taurus. May 9th. Somebody lives by the bay or is eating bay season seasoning. Bay. Or somebody calls somebody bay. Hey, bay. Like baby bay. Um, hmm. All right, obvious. That's so obvious. Oh, no, they said, okay. So they're telling me basketball net? Something with a basketball net. Oh, and now they're saying Annette. Somebody's name is Annette. JC. I'm hearing JC. Uh, okay. Um, hold on a minute. They're saying north. What is that? Uh, alright, they're just saying north. Just north. Something north. Someone lives in the north. Somebody's name is Naz. Nas. Naz. Are watching... Oh! Nastasi? Okay, that's what it is. Nastasi. So his name is Nastasi. Hmm. Ian. Did I say Timothy or Tim? I'm picking that up. Okay, let's get into your charms. That's a lot. <laughs> that was so much. Let me get my lucky charms. Put a little milk in here. They would taste so good, right? Crunchy. They definitely would never get soft. <laughs> I love Lucky Charms. Hold on, let's get this. Let's really get this going. Okay, we've got an apple here. So, somebody live near the big apple? Or is eating an apple? Apple is significant. Also, a mermaid. Somebody's... You know, that's so funny. I'm just looking at that. I'm like, oh, okay. I was swimming today and I used I used the um, flippers <laughs> and you know mermaids have like a tail right that was me swimming today but anyway um, okay something with a mermaid maybe you're swimming or you're topless on the beach or you're going somewhere you're gonna be topless on the beach or dressing up like a mermaid for something okay let's see what else do you have okay you have the Hamsa. That's for protection. Hamsa is for protection. Oh, no shoot. You got another apple. How about that? So you have one with the red enamel. Two apples. Apple of my eye. <laughs> apples are significant. Somebody's doing something with apples. Maybe that's a street or somebody, a name, like, you know, Christina Apple. Oh, she's Applegate. Whatever. Okay. Two apples. Like, seriously, that's very significant. I don't know what that means. I mean, it, it's it's significant in that, like, pay attention to the apples. It means something. Okay, you also have a gold star. Maybe you're part of a gold star family, or you know a gold star family. So I'm here with a gold star. And you also have the tree of life. Beautiful. That is so pretty. So the tree of life is significant to someone here. Or, <laughs> I don't know, maybe you're out by the apple tree and they fall off the apple tree. The apples fall, hit you in the head, boink. Newton's whatever. Maybe somebody's name is Newton. Okay. 
could be an apple tree, not just a tree of life, something about an apple tree. Oh, and there's also, oh, that's cute. There's like a little flower. For some of you, it's really just simple. Like your apple tree is going to start blooming. If you have an apple tree, they're just saying, if you have an apple tree that's dead, you're going to see, because every fruit that begins to grow starts off with like a little flower bud. You're going to see a flower bud on a dead tree. And that's very symbolic for a lot of stuff. It's not just the actual tree. Flower is going to start blooming in June on something that you thought was rotten to the core or dead in the water. There's protection. Yeah, I like this. I really, really like this reading. So like I said, I'm going to go over to the extended. If you're interested in purchasing that, it is 11 11 11 dollars and 11 cents you're not obligated um but yeah if you want to get the reading over there go ahead and click on that link and that will give you that reading the extended if not um yeah i hope you enjoyed this i just want to give a couple of shout outs so if you have recently joined my channel i want to say hello to you and welcome you um, to the House of Virgo membership. Uh, let's see. Anybody? Anybody? Anybody join? Nobody knew. Okay. Come on, you guys. Two ninety nine per month, and you get cool emojis. You get to join the chat group. You um, get a really cool badge, which shows your importance here on my channel, and you get shout outs. Absolutely. So. Yeah, maybe I'll try to go live on Sunday, you guys. Um, I will post if I'm going to be going live this Sunday. I'll let you guys know. Um, do a live stream kind of reading and hop on and say hello to everybody. Like, live, live. All right? So, yeah. Um, so, I'm going to leave that there. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks to the mods. You guys, you know you're awesome. Love you. Thanks, everybody, for showing up in the chat. And I'll see you all back here tomorrow or over at the extended reading, okay? Oh, and don't forget, click that like button and subscribe. Love ya, bye.